Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Power for Nostalgia. In this video we'll look at Rockin' the Dodos from 1998. Rockin' the Dodos, a stop motion animated television series, uh, consists of two seasons actually, pretty interesting, and it's not by Cosgrove Hall, uh, fam too famous for Count Dracula, um, uh, Count Dracula, Danger Mouse, um, Jolt of the Wheelies, I forgot the name of that one again, uh, Jolt of the Wheelies, Dream Magic Torch, so on, such many classics. And we've come to this point now, um, so late na so we're in the late 90s now, so this is sort of like the first foray into the show, because we've, most of the shows I've covered are all from this far, well, mainly this far, I've actually co uh, covered from like, so we've come to like, to the mid 90s, I think, so like, from the late 60s to the mid 90s, this is late 90s, so late 90s, a bit of a different time. Um, we're sort of entering this sort of like weird plastic age period, I would say. Um, late late nineties, I think it's quite strange and surreal, especially when you get to the when we, when we cross over to 2000, 2001, It's quite surreal for me, as I remember. I always dubbed the plastic age. Ninety six to ninety, no, ninety six to two thousand and three, roughly around that. That's how I call that plastic age. I do something like that. Plastic age, I know it as. And we get this animated TV show, which is uh, done by Cosgrove Hall, it's done by Grand High Pictures in Manchester, who are no longer with us. And we've got this sort of um, obscure prehistoric, um, sort of Moss Chops esque, um, you know, uh, show about dodos very much. Which is quite interesting because you never really suggest like a, a TV show to do with dodos very much. Um, it just follows the adventures of Rocky, Lee, this blue dodo, and again, and the adventures, you know, that they keep having, you know, hot weather. S stinky eggs and other stuff, you know, daughters being abducted and this sort of thing. It is pretty just, it's good actually. I mean, consider it's from late 90s, you've got these sort of all powering sort of vocal title sequence very much. You know, it's meant to be like, have like a bit of, bit, you know, sort of bit poppy, a bit more in your face, that sort of thing. And the animation is more fluid than uh, with the at uh, this time of Cosgrove Hall because it did some other shows before. I will discuss later one I'll discuss later on, which is all comes after this actually. Although actually, I think I think it finished when this came on, actually. But anyway, so the animation is fluid. It's quite nice. The voice acting obviously because you have Jimmy Hibbert as well, you know, providing stuff. You know, this all sort of traditional flair, of course. Nicely done. I do think it's sort of it's very it's very underrated because you think of Costco Hall, you think of the great stuff they sort of that they did in the eighties, you know, and some stuff in the early nineties, which one I'll get onto a little later in a couple of videos down the line. Mm -hmm. But it's just you know sort of underrated. It's just you know I think you should hear. I think as the time period as well because you think of nineteen eighty eight, you know, there's quite a few big shows and a few big seasons of other shows that sort of came in, if you know what I mean. There were, I mean, there was a couple, you know, you had some new shows, you had some shows that were still carrying on um, that were sort of either coming to the end in their prime or re or some shows being rebooted very much, i.e. one I can think of was James the Cat from 19... which is the 98 season, which came out, which nobody, nobody knows which is funny i mean that's a that's all for going and sort of the carpet um but let me digress with rock and dirt's because so i think this is sort of mushed under the sort of um stuff that was going on big shows Todd stevie was ended this year um i think there's a few new others as well a few forgotten gems as well keep kept popping up as well but again you know too many stuff, too many, too many things climb up this climb up the tone pole. Chances are some of them fall off and land on the ground and never to be touched again. You know, it's like a lo it's like a losing it's like winning a victory and you watch the loser walk away in the in the dark. Very much. I think this suffers from it. Uh, but overall, I think Rock of the Dose is quite good. I mean, it's one of Costco Hall's fine works. A little bit underrated, but pretty good. Anyway, that's all I could say about it. I've been babbling on about 1988 for a bit on this video. However, the show, give it a watch. Anyway, thanks for watching. I've been talking about Rocking the Dodos from 1998. And I'll see you for the next video. Thank you. Bye. Hello.
Take a look. <laughs> <laughs> I'm running hand in hand in hand.